and welcome to Sabbath School. My name is Steph and I'm so happy that you've joined me this morning. Now, on the count of three, I want you to tell me your name really, really loudly. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, wow. You all have wonderful names. Thank you for sharing them with me. Now this morning we are going to have lots of fun together and I hope your mum or your dad are with you so that they can sing along with you and we can all listen to the special Bible story we have today. Now, are you ready for worship? Oh, that was too quiet. Are you ready for worship? Yes, that's much better. Let's all jump up and get our hands ready as we wave good morning to everyone. Good morning to you, good morning to you. How are you today? Good morning to you, good morning to you. This happy Sabbath day. Good morning to you, good morning to you. How are you today? Good morning to you, good morning to you, this happy Sabbath day. Even though we've been having Sabbath school at home, Sabbath is still a very special day where we can learn more about God, spend time with our family and our friends and rest. I hope that over the last few months, your Sabbath days at home have been happy. Let's clap together as we sing about the Sabbath day. Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day, I love every Sabbath. Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day, I love every Sabbath. Now, do you remember last week? we had a word up next to me. Do you remember what it was? H-E-L-P. Help, that's right. Have you been a good helper this week? I wonder what things you can do to help others. Maybe help mum and dad by packing your toys away? How about giving your brother or your sister a hug if they've hurt themselves? Maybe picking up some rubbish and putting it in the bin or giving someone a smile if they are looking sad. God wants us to be happy little helpers. So let's sing our next song about helping others. I like to help my family. I like to help my family. To help my family, I love my family. If you need God's help, what do you do? How do you ask for God's help? Well, we can start by praying to God. And remember that you can pray to God anytime you want because He is always there to listen. And he is there to help us. Let's sing our prayer song together. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. They were made for Jesus. I have knees that bend to the floor I have hands that fold in prayer I have eyes that close real tight Now I talk to Jesus
Dear Jesus, thank you so much for a wonderful week. Please help us to learn to be happy little helpers and be kind and loving to our family and friends. Please help us to learn more about the Bible and how much you help us. In your name we pray. Amen. Before we read our story, do you remember where God's stories come from? It's a big heavy book. Yes, it's the Bible. Does your mum or your dad read you stories from the Bible? If you've got one, you can quickly go and grab it and we are going to sing our Bible song. The B-I-B-L-E, yes that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E, yes that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. So many great stories. The B-I-B-L-E, yes that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E, yes that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. I've got a first aid kit here. Do you remember last week what was inside? Let's see what we have. Alright, we've got a bandage. Have you ever had to wear a bandage before? Maybe around your head or around your arm? A band-aid. Have you ever had an ouchie fallen over? We can have a band-aid. And there's some gloves and some more band-aids. What do you use it for? If someone gets hurt, there are lots of things that you can use. Some bandages, some medicine. Now, maybe you fell over running or riding your little scooter. Did you have someone help you and put a band-aid on your ouchie? Well, today's story is about a man who was hurt and another man called a Samaritan. Are you comfy? Good. Let's start our story. One day, a man called a lawyer said to Jesus, I know the law says to love God with all of my heart and to love my neighbour as myself, but who is my neighbour? Jesus replied to the man by telling him a parable, which is like a story. Jesus said, a man was on his way to the city of Jericho, but some robbers were hiding along the way and they jumped up and took everything the man had, all of his money, even his clothes. The man was very hurt. He needed someone to help him. Along came a priest. The priest saw the man, but he did not stop. Along came a helper from the temple, but he did not stop. Then along came a Samaritan man. When he saw the hurt man, he stopped and he helped the man. He cleaned up all of his scrapes and his bruises and lifted the man onto his donkey. The Samaritan took the hurt man down the road to an inn and they stayed at the inn that night. The Samaritan took care of the hurt man all night. In the morning, the Samaritan man gave the innkeeper two silver coins and said, take good care of him until I return. When Jesus finished telling the story, he asked which of the three men was the true neighbour. The lawyer answered, the man who took care of the hurt man. Jesus said, that's right, now go and do as he did. Jesus told this story to show us that it is important to help everyone. I hope you enjoyed that story and that your mum or your dad get to read you some more stories out of the Bible. Do you think 
that the Good Samaritan was walking with Jesus when he helped the man? When we walk with Jesus, we need to make sure that we help others and be kind to them just like the Good Samaritan was. Let's sing our next song about walking with Jesus. Walking with Jesus, walking every day, all along the way for I am walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus alone. Walking in the sunlight, walking in the shadow, walking every day, all along the way for I am walking in the sunlight, walking in the shadow, walking with Jesus alone. Walking with Jesus, walking every day, all along the way for I am walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus alone. Alright, let's keep walking with Jesus. You can get mum and dad to come and walk with you. Walking with Jesus, walking every day, all along the way for I am walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus alone. Walking with Jesus, walking every day, all along the way for I am walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus alone. You know what? Helping is so much fun and it will always bring joy to your heart. Helping people makes me happy. Does helping people make you happy too? It makes God so, so happy. Can you show me your smile? Oh wow, so many beautiful smiles. Let's sing our next song with our big smiles. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. God helps us all the time and he loves us so much. He helps everyone and we should help our friends, our neighbours, our teachers, our parents too. You know what? We should help everyone when we can. Let's sing our song about how God helps everyone. He's able, he's able, I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He's able, he's able, I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He healed the broken hearted and set the captive free. He made the lame to walk again and caused the blind to see. He's able, he's able, I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. And it's craft time. Look who we have here today. It's Pastor Alex. 
Does hey, kids. everyone want to wave to Pastor Alex? Well done. Today's craft is a fun one because we are going to be using some paint. Now, you'll need your hands and Pastor Alex and I have a paintbrush and we also have a pen. So what we're going to do is we are going to create some helping hand prints and then we're going to write ways that we can help others. Are you ready, Pastor Alex? I was born ready, <laughs> Steph. All right, paintbrush is ready. We're going to paint our hands. Now, this might get a little bit messy. It's a bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's paint our hands. And I've got my favourite colour here. I've got my second favourite colour here, Steph. <laughs> oh, you're getting purple on my paper. I'm so sorry. That's I said it was going to be messy. Unacceptable, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. I like let's that. put a... Print there. How are you going, Pastor Alex? <laughs> I just want to get this right, Steph. All right, I might just keep painting my yeah, hands. Just keep painting away, painting away. And we are. I'm going to do another hand. You're Ooh. a bit slow, Pastor Alex. Come oh, on. Yeah, I'm slow. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I've got another handprint. Let me just show you what it, well, I've got big hands, but this is what your handprint will look like. Just a little bit smaller than mine. And I'm going to do one more, oh, one more handprint. Oh, all right. Come on, Pastor Alex, you've got to keep up. Now I've done three hands. I'm just going to wipe my hand, it's a little bit messy. Now while we wait for Pastor Alex, who's nearly done I think, we are going to write how we can help other people. Now do you remember what I said earlier on that we can maybe pick up our toys or we can maybe give someone a hug if they're feeling sad or maybe you can help mum and dad do the dishes. There are lots of ways that you can help. So I'm going to write a few things down. Do you have any ideas of how you can be a good, happy little helper, Pastor Alex? Look, I have one or two ideas, Steph. Yeah? Look, you know, I think a good way of helping people is definitely when they're feeling hurt or when they're feeling sad, you can help them by maybe you need to give them a band-aid. Yep. Or maybe they just right. need someone to listen to them. Yeah, yeah. that's very, very good. But what about you? How do you help people, Steph? Well, sometimes I can help my kids do their homework or sometimes when they're a bit sad a good mummy hug is sometimes very nice. Yeah, good mummy hugs are good except I can't give mummy hugs no. because I'm not a mummy. Well you'll be a daddy soon. I will be a daddy right. soon but not a mummy. No. So I'll have to give daddy hugs. <laughs> right. Now I'm going to write how I can help. So help in the kitchen and maybe I can give hugs and maybe hmm. I've got a good one Steph what? I can cook for my family <gasps> that's so cool are you a good cook Steph no I'm not <laughs> I've got one more of you are you done uh, yeah I've got a I've got a few goodies here. all right yeah. so once you've written down all the ways that you can help someone you can write them down near your hand prints and you can maybe pop it on the fridge as a reminder of how you can help and be a happy little helper. Thanks Alex for helping me today. Thanks for having me on the show Steph. All right, thanks guys. Do you know what month it is? I'll give you a clue. It starts with the letter S. September. Hip hip hooray! Have you celebrated a birthday this week? Well, if you have, we are going to sing a birthday song just for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Okay, we are going to count to ten just to make sure that we've got your number covered. Hands ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Happy birthday. Before we say our memory verse, let's ask God to come into our heart so that we know that he is always there to help us. Let's sing. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart. Lord Jesus Into my heart Into my heart Come into my heart Lord Jesus Come in today Come in to stay Jesus. Our memory verse today comes from Psalm 54 verse 4 and it comes from the Bible and it says, God will help me. Can you say that to your mum and your dad? Ready? God will help me. Well done. I've had so much fun today learning about how to be a happy little helper. And thank you to Pastor Alex who also helped us today with craft. I hope you've had lots of fun too. It's time to sing our goodbye song. So let's jump up and wave our hands as we sing goodbye. Our Sabbath school is over. joining me online this morning for Sabbath School. Maybe you can help others this week. If you see someone hurt, you can make sure that they're okay. If you see someone crying, let them know that you're there to help. If you see someone at school that is a little bit lonely, help them by being their friend. There are lots of ways to be God's happy little helpers. Have a great week. See you next time.